Hello and welcome to Data Research Labs. For this tutorial, we will review how to download and deploy the MS SQL Data Dictionary Generator tool. To download this free tool, follow the GitHub link in the comments below. So how do I download the tool? Well, open up a browser and set the URL to github.com slash data research labs, no www, hit enter. When the page comes up, scroll down until you find data analyst toolbox, or you could type it in up here, data underscore analyst, and click the link. When the page comes up, scroll down. The tool we want to look for is the data dictionary generator, so click that link. Scroll down, you can see an overview, some screenshots, and then you get to how to download or watch tutorials for the tool. And right now we're interested in SQL Server. And you have a choice. You can download the quote unquote executable, which is actually an Access 365 ACCDE file, which you can run, but there's no source code behind it. Or you can download the source code, which is also Access 365, but it's an ACCDB file. And I'll walk through later how you can access the source code. Uh, I would suggest that you can download both, but I would suggest within your organization, run the Access DE because then people won't have access to the source code, can't monkey around it, so it's less of a security risk. So use this one, and then if you're just running it on your own machine and you want to get into the guts of it, then download the source code. And if we click one, let's go look at the download. Click it, it's going to jump here to GitHub, and then you would just click the download button there, and then follow your regular download instructions for your given browser. Once you've saved the ACCDE file somewhere on your system, go ahead and double click to open it. It'll execute, access will pop up, and you're gonna get this access security notice, and that's normal. This is expected until we go into the Trust Center one time and configure access to trust this folder. So go ahead and click the open button to continue. And leave access open, but we're gonna close the application by clicking the X here make this normal size and then let's configure the trust center by clicking the file and down into the options and then we want to go to the trust center and then the trust center settings this button here and now let's look at the trusted locations and we need to add a new location so the C, where's that uh, folder at? C colon temp demo. I'm just going to click on, and that way I can copy the folder. That folder is not present in the trusted locations. That's why we get the error. So I'm going to add new location, and I'm going to paste in the path I just copied. Hit OK. There we go. Now it's added. So let's click OK and click OK again, and now it's trusted. And then let's... Uh, Close the little application and pop back up the folder. Now when we double click the ACCDE, voila, we do not get any more that security warning. So that's how you get rid of the security warning and that's how you configure access trusted security. So how do I access the source code? Well, first I have to have the ACCDB file. So let me paste that in because that has a source code, the DE does not. So I paste that in and there's two ways to access the source code. So right now I have this file highlighted. I'm going to press the shift key down. I'm still holding the shift key and I'm not going to let go of the shift key. Still holding it. I'm going to press enter. The file's loading. I'm still holding the shift key. Now I'm going to let go. Because the shift key was depressed and held down on the keyboard the entire time that the load was occurring, the application did not run and all the source code is visible over here. So you can go in and you can look at the tables. You can look at the queries. You can look at the forms. You can look at the reports. One little macro, don't worry about that. That's just development macro. And then all the code modules. You can look at the two classes and all the supporting libraries. Go in and double click and look at the code that's in there that pops up in a window like that. So there you go. That's access to all the source code and how you do it. That's one way. Let me close it, the application. Let me double click the ACCDB and I'm not holding down shift, so it's gonna run. So what do you do if you run? Well, click the X you have the access engine open, but no source code. Press the F11 key, function 11. Boom, there you go, there's access to the source code. I didn't block it, I could have locked it off, but I did not. So there you go, two ways to access the source code. 
One quick technical note, you shouldn't encounter this problem, but if there are any issues with references, then you can go to the source code, uh, double click on any of the modules or code applications to pop up the code viewer window here. And once you have the Microsoft Visual Basic for Applications window up, click on the tools menu, click on the references menu, and make sure that all of these are checked. They should be by default, but if for some reason they aren't, maybe you don't have the ActiveX Data Objects 2.0 library installed for whatever reason. It's really old, should come native with Office and Windows, et cetera. But if you don't, you can go look it up at Microsoft's website and download it, which you shouldn't have to do, but if you did, you could download it and then come in and check this. Or if for some reason it's just not checked, just go double check and make sure all these are checked off. But again, I don't think you'll run into this problem. Just put it in just in case. Thank you for watching, and if you found this video helpful, then please smash that like button and subscribe for more related content. Also, check out our other related videos and playlists in the boxes to the left.